The attacks in Paris and San Bernardino are hitting a sore point for many Americans when it comes to Muslims. Yeah, but Muslims say that the actions of a few do not reflect their community at large. TV5's Nick Lully has that story now. He joins us live in the Continuous News Center. Hey, Nick. Yeah, guys, tonight, in fact, many people tell me they're angry every time one of these incidents happens. You can expect the stairs. Yazid Shamia is like most 19-year-olds. The U of M Flint student enjoys hanging out and talking with his friends, but feels that sometimes the way he looks and his religious beliefs make him a target. There's been some words exchanged, but hopefully it all ends well. I mean, we're just hoping for the time to pass at this point. Tonight, Shamia and dozens of other Muslim youth gathered at the Flint Islamic Center to discuss about what they call Islamophobia, the fallout he and other Muslims feel when Islamic extremists attack. Just as we learned that the attack in California this week is tied to ISIS, the same radical Islamic group responsible for the deadly attacks in Paris a few weeks ago, this conversation takes on even greater importance. But it seems that when it comes to a Muslim that perpetrates a crime, then the first issue that takes place is there's a referendum or indictment on the entire community. Dawood Walid is with the Council on American Islamic Relations. He says many people are so quick to jump to conclusions, but meetings like the one we attended tonight are really about peace. Some of the people I spoke with tonight say they are angry that terrorists use their religion to hide behind. What do you say to the people who take the those events and reflect them upon the entire Muslim community and think that everyone is bad. Well, to the people here in the community, I say if you have questions about Islam in the Muslim community, that you come to the Flint Islamic Center or other Islamic centers in the area, and uh, this is the best way of learning about Islam. Yazid Shamia says he is no different than most college students and has this message for anyone who might think otherwise. All the hate yeah, that you see that, that isn't representative of us. And to learn more about the Flint Islamic Center, just head to the hot link section of WNEM.com. Reporting live in the Continuous News Center, Nick Lawley, WNEM TV5. All right, Nick, thank you for that. And we asked on Facebook what Americans think we can do to fight Islamophobia. Sean says, ship them back to their own country. Andrew says, if people who kill in the name of Islam are not Muslims. Leslie says flat out that religion, I think she means all religion, is evil. But Mary thinks duct taping the mouths of certain people would solve that problem. Let us know what you think. Just post your comments on our Facebook page.